face here. We have Amanda trying to get in, trying to break in from the corner, wearing her red t-shirt. Uh, for everybody who is here who doesn't know where they are, uh, this is Rhythm. We're a product consulting company. We deal with some of the best top 50 financial clients in uh, New York and St. Louis. Where else? Chicago. UK, yeah. Chicago, Toronto. all over the place. Um, for anybody who does design and UX, outside of the people I know. Uh, you guys can put your hands down, I know you can. Uh, developers? All right, sweet. So we do a lot of everything from end-to-end -end, uh, design, uh, back-end, front-end uh, dev work. Uh, we are hiring. If anybody would like to drop off their resume and talk to me, talk to Andrea, Priyanka. Yeah. We're not, you know, close or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, welcome, you guys are here for a great talk. Uh, this is Samantha's first In Rhythm talk, which Woo! is uh, a big thing. Uh, and yeah, so uh, let's get it popping. Samantha, it's all on you. Hi. <laughs> is like 
like the little serif. Now this is a serif font. I believe it's actually Times New Roman. Oops. But each font has the similar uh, elements in their anatomy, but they just differ based on the font itself. So you just see the differences. Now, we're gonna put it into practice because you guys are experts over it. Are you guys ready? No? You're totally ready. So I'm gonna pass out these fonts and please take a paper, a pencil, and a ruler. And you're gonna all share. That's the font for your table. This is your font. You can hope that in the first round. One piece of paper is good and then the other one is for later. Thank you. 
mimic it, but I'll explain that in a minute. I'm just making sure everyone has their lines first. Would it be okay if I did a compressed Helvetica note? Oh, no. <laughs> don't, don't start that yet. No. <laughs> Joe, follow instructions. Joe is not following instructions. No. <laughs> he, does, he actually does not follow instructions. Shame. Um, okay. Once everyone's ready, it doesn't need to be perfect, just as long as it's close. So, okay. Perfect. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Good work. Okay, no worries. No worries. Sure. Sharing rule. I understand. I'm sorry we didn't have enough balloons. Thank you. 
DJ Pella, this is what you put on?
Don't worry. Eight comes from the time you have Beautiful, guys. Can you all hold it up? Don't worry if it's not done. I just want to see all your beautiful fonts. Show it off. Show it off. You are all awesome. Foco. I got a F. I feel a little offended with just an F. Don't, don't be rude. I'm not doing anything mean. Okay, guys. So now we're moving on to a new font because you're all experts now. Oh, no. Okay, I'm handing out a new font for you guys. You're, you're also Is it Comic Sans? Nope. Don't ever person. say that word for me. My you. personality is Comic Sans. Okay. What? Comic Sans? Terrible. It's a curse word to me. Okay. I prefer papyrus. Thank you, Lee. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just totally turned that. Can you oh. Oh, turn it? Yes. Thank you. You are. Okay, you have. You get a serif. All right. You get a serif. Your calcium on. And you guys get a sand serif. All right. Actually, no. I'm gonna give you a slab six. It's a little easier, a little funnier. Yeah, that face. Perfect, Sam. You're gonna say. Oh, is that the name of the font? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was just trying to find the font that the font for free. That, 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 that's so conscious. What did you guys get? We got some chunky vibe. Um, so, the new word, we're going to redo the height. So if you guys want to stop what you're doing, and we're going to start over on a new page. So start a new page. That's why I gave you enough for each of you to have two. Tell me if you need another. Okay? So this time we're doing a different height because we're going to be smaller about it. We're going to be more condensed, which actually is more difficult. So what you're going to do is you're going to have only four inches for your X height. Okay? So you start with four inches and then do two above and then two below. Two, four, two. Two, four, two. Two, four, two. Does anyone need me to help? Before we continue? Alright. Um, I'm trying to just keep trying to understand that. So is it the same proportion? No. Two, four, two. Two, four, two. So less, less height. The squirt is longer, does, so. So does fatter, what do fatter fonts mean? Do they have fatter any? fonts means you just, it's easier to color it. Oh. No, but like for emotions. Emotion? Oh, um, this is just more friendly. Oh. To me, at least. It's really, it's really like Joe. It's really like Joe? Chunk five? It's loud and fun. Chunk five? That was a nice, nice save, Sam. You're Joe, you're a chunk five. Right? Two, chunk five. <laughs> four, two. What's the word? I'll let you know in a minute what you got. Oh, no, you're oh, we're going to get more and more Joe. He's going to be the opposite. I'm just more of a coder. What? I coded today, so. Oh! No. They only got to the opposite. I would recommend, like I said, doing it on horizontal. I know there's not a lot of space, but horizontal is better because it's a big word. Huh? It's a bigger word because I think you can handle the challenge. Two yeah, it's two, four, two. Two, four, yeah. Two, four, two. Two, yeah. two, two for the A sender, okay. four for the X height, and two for the D sender. Yeah, apparently it's a big word. It's a big word. So do it horizontal. Can we get the word? Horizontal. You know the word, Jack. Okay. okay, good. Okay, guys, whenever you're ready, I'm not going to rush anyone. No rushing.
I would recommend starting with just straight up marker. And don't try and not to do the outline. So we fill it, fill it, fill it. You can do it. I promise you can do it. And don't try to do the outline. Inside out. Work your way out. Because it's all about Feeling the feeling the oh, so, so for the eye, it is from the top of the A center to oh, the F, not the D center. Oh, Wait, what? Oh, you need to ask the question as me. <laughs> so, the eye starts from the top of the A center to the X height. To the bottom of the X height, yes. Yeah, why don't you ask me just coloring it like, remember, in the direction of the, the thing. Try to go in the direction the font is going. But Sam, if it's going down, you go down. Why does that matter, sister? What do you mean? The way you color it. It's about feeling the core to working your way out. If you start with the outline, then you're really not learning it. This is just how I was taught in school, yeah, my teacher, and it makes most sense yeah. <laughs> in the end. So if, say, the top of the eye and you have a line, do the line first, that's okay, but then fill it in from the center out. See how this is? If you have a serif, you start with the line, and then you color from inside out. Yes. It, it doesn't look perfect. Just it. No, it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. Nothing like perfect. Exactly. Except I mean, you, fine. Though. Except you. Except me. We have too much fun. That's a hug. Great, guys. So, you want to just start with the section? Yeah. And kind of, you want to see how you're drawing the line like that? Because you're outlining it? You want to start with the inside? And see, since this is a stem, you want to draw down, and then when it's going in a curve, you curve the line. Don't so much spend time outlining it, spend time filling it. And when, the way you fill in is important because it's a directional. So if you know how your face has lines when you smile or make a facial expression, that's what you're doing with this font. If you curve it like this, that's not showing a direction, it's just showing Yeah. 
that's because it's slow. It goes a little above. Ever so slightly. Okay. I tried to save paper and. That's okay. There was a reason it was just that.
You know what? This is all about messing up and just doing well on the
and then is put into a pinhole camera, which is literally just a box that you can see in the bottom that has the sheet here, a tiny little hole. I'm not even kidding when I say you just stick a needle into a piece of paper, and that's all that is. And then based on the size of the hole, will depend on how much light is let in and how long the exposure needs to last. So it'll make an upside down version of that image. Then you have to take it into a dark room to process it or else the light exposure will ruin the image. Now daguerreotypes were the first photos used to create pictures of portraits, just like you see in the middle. Then they added some blush and everything afterward if you wanted that, it wasn't common. Now, um, they were very popular from the 80, uh, 1839 to 1860. And during that time, uh, if you can believe it, the reason no one smiled is because they literally had to sit there for over 10 minutes, most of the time, at least. So what they did to prevent you from having a blur was stick a metal pipe back of your outfit and strap you in. So you were literally strapped in, not able to move for 10 minutes, so of course, you're not going to smile, because who's going to smile like Kevin Strait, a psychopath? And um, they're not psychopaths. So uh, that is how photography started. And now we have so many different kinds of photography. We have advertising. We have long exposures. We have action shots. We have fashion. We have photojournalism, weddings. Um, as you know, I'm a wedding photographer, so I have to use my own photo. Um, if you didn't know. Um, so when it comes to advertising photography, a lot of people use Photoshop very often, as well as with fashion. Um, none of those models were that thin, no offense to any models, but they <laughs> you totally over Photoshop those people. They're trying to change that, but it's not gonna change. Um, photojournalism is a much more raw way of photography. People are in the moment, it's very candid, it's very raw and real, and just like this image, which was taken right after Hiroshima, um, a very emotionally driven, um, normally, uh, type, type of photography. Action photography, we use lots of flash and really high uh, shutter speeds so that we catch them without any blur, which is why you see her in complete motion. Uh, there's probably a flash over here and a flash behind her to get that really nice lighting. Uh, um, okay, nice. Uh, long exposures are normally they hold open the f-stop and really let in a lot of light for the ISO and they just let it expose as long as possible for the shutter speed to create that blur effect. Of course, they would have to use a tripod because it would just be a blurry mess if they did not. Um, because none of us are that still. And with wedding photography, it just depends on what situation it is. I don't remember the exact lighting I used for this, but I didn't have a flash. I just was outside and happened to be in the middle of the event. Um, so, a true photographer uses manual settings, normally, so that includes both the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. Uh, for aperture, there's anywhere between f32, which creates a completely fluid front-to-back setting, so both me and you, say all the way in the back, would be completely in focus. And also, this is bad if you're at night, because you have to have a very open shutter speed allow for enough light to come in. Now, when you have a really dark room, you would want to go with a lower f-stop, like an f2.8 or an f1.4, which is actually what your portrait mode is if you have an iPhone. Um, that is an f2.8, actually. So that would create me being in focus and all of you being a blurry mess. They would have no idea you were. Um, so that creates a larger open aperture. Think of this as an iris. And as night, it gets bigger because you're allowing more light to come in and it condenses when you're out in the sun. So when you have a more open aperture, your shutter speed can be much higher because if you also have your ISO set higher, which is what dark light is. So it's a weird thing about light. Um, <laughs> F2.8 is good for low light, but yet <laughs> an ISO 50 is good for bright light. So when your ISO goes up, that's better for night. Well, when your S stop goes low, that's better for the night. So it's opposite. Mm -hmm. So you want to have them opposite at all times. Uh, also, F5.6 is a pretty standard one that I see a lot of people use. Um, also, it depends on if you want your person blurry or not. That can change your shutter speed, which will also affect 
your ISO and your STEM. Um, normally people use like aperture priority or something like that, but a lot of times manual is a better way to go. So, you're gonna do your own photo shoots, guys. What, what? Okay, <laughs> so numbers that are in front of you. What number did you have? Hold yeah. them up, hold them up, hold them up. You're crying. 
Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. We're sending one right now. Okay. Just wait. <laughs> Pull my airdrop in. Okay. Yes, Just please. See. It's okay. this one. Do you see it on the screen? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, why did it disappear? Can you try doing it again? That's coming. Okay. It's gonna be worth it. Hold on, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sending. It's sending. Oh, shit. So it's a fine. It's a fine. Great guys, I love the motion in this <laughs> and the emotion. So I'm loving all of these, so we're gonna play with all of them. Oh, oh it is a fair. Just a typical Saturday night sailor. <laughs> this is just a typical Tuesday night sailor. I love it. Okay, guys, so we're gonna use Photoshop today. Yay. Wow. And now is time.
is, is that no matter where you place it, <coughs> uh, but depending on where you place it and the font size and style and the font itself, it creates a different feeling for every person. If you put it really big on both of them, like on either side, say,
Because that's visually Visually not it looks not pretty, but, like, but it is in line. Exactly. So it's correct. It's dumb, it's dumb but it, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, <coughs> one second. And any questions? Now you can ask a question. Oh, yeah. My question was that first slide that you put up the two. The two? Uh, this one? Yeah. yeah. So, like, the bottom one. Yes. Using this, um, the serif, which is more bolder yes. and white, it definitely distracts from the image. Yes. So, it was just like, what my interpretation of the first, I think, my initial interpretation of the image is more powerful than the text. So, it's talking about the balance between the image and the text. Yes, exactly. So, overall, this is very bold. If you're wanting the text to be what you look at, get the image, focus on the text by making it bolder and louder. If you're looking for something just just be an added element to an image, which is normally what you want to do, you use a thinner, less bold, less serif font. Serif, serif is a very curvy, bigger font. Yeah. It's less modern. It can be modern.